As seen in Season 6 of the Clone Wars TV series, Order 66 was an order literally implanted into the clone troopers through a biochip device. When activated via voice command, the biochip would be activated and cause the clones to carry out Clone Protocol 66, whereby they viewed the Jedi as a dangerous threat needing to be destroyed immediately and at all costs. Of course, the clones carried out the order when the biochips were activated by Palpatine's voice command in Revenge of the Sith. However, in the most recent issue number 16 of the Darth Vader comic series, we've now potentially seen the biochips and Clone Protocol 66 be activated not by Palpatine against the Jedi, but by a Jedi survivor of the Purge against the Inquisitors. In this video expose, I will explain how a Jedi Master came to understand the existence of Order 66, and then attempted to activate the Order against the 10th brother, 9th sister, and 6th brother. Having been dispatched to the planet of Mon Cala to help solidify Imperial rule, and to eliminate the Jedi who is assisting Mon Cala's king, Vader and three Inquisitors were eventually successful in locating the hidden base of operations of Jedi Master Farron Barr. As Barr and his followers were fleeing to escape their wrath, they were ultimately ambushed by Vader. Although the Sith Lord was diverted to carry out a personal favor for Tarkin, Vader ordered the 10th brother, 9th sister, and 6th brother to continue hunting down Jedi Master Barr. Ultimately, while Barr's followers desperately tried to impede their pursuers so that the Jedi could escape, Master Barr and two of his followers were confronted by the Inquisitors and their death squad of stormtroopers, with the male Darren being cut down. While the situation looked helpless for Barr, we see that the Jedi Master actually had more control of the situation than it seemed. In the previous issue, we saw that Barr had learned not only of Anakin Skywalker's role in the attack on the Jedi Temple, but also how he fell to become the Sith Lord Darth Vader. But that wasn't all that Barr had learned over the roughly one year since the Jedi Purge. Of course, being former Jedi themselves, Barr knew the names of his former fellow Jedi who now comprised the ranks of the Inquisitorius and who stood before him. Not only that, and perhaps most importantly, Barr was able to learn exactly how Palpatine tricked the galaxy into turning against the Jedi, and more specifically, what the role of the clone troopers was in Order 66. At that point, Barr used the Force to remove the helmets of the troopers to reveal that the Inquisitorius' death squad was comprised of former Republic clone troopers. In fact, as Barr suspected, the clones were from the very last production line on Kamino, and therefore were brought online to be used by the Inquisitorius after the Jedi Purge, and thus never had their biochips activated by Palpatine. Therefore, knowing that the Inquisitors were all former Jedi, and once a Jedi, always a Jedi, and that the clones present all had their biochips in place, ready to be used to view all Jedi as an immediate threat to be eliminated, Master Bar issued the voice command for the clones to execute Order 66. The issue ends on that note and we'll have to wait until the next issue to see what becomes of Master Bar's plan, but it would make sense for the 10th brother and 9th sister to fall at this point, given that we know that they don't likely survive into the Rebels TV series timeline. The 6th brother's case is a bit more confusing, as we know his fate will ultimately be decided by Ahsoka, so I could see him making it out of the situation alive. But nonetheless, this was such a cool moment from the latest issue of the Darth Vader comic series, and it did a great job of connecting so many different parts of the existing canon. So there we have it! How a Jedi Master executed Order 66 against the Inquisitors. We love making these videos, so why not subscribe for more fun Star Wars theories and discussions. Also, if you enjoyed the video, think about giving a like or leaving a comment. Or perhaps follow us on Twitter, at SWReadingClub, for updates regarding the channel. Or support the channel through Patreon, for access to exclusive hangouts and book discussions. If not for me... For personal favors...